there is um, a conception that uh, North Carolina needs to needs to implement a voter ID plan so that you can cut down on voter fraud. Supposedly voter fraud is a very high instance in North Carolina. Um, conversely, the facts that, that, that I know is that voter fraud is not a rampant issue in North Carolina. As a matter of fact, I heard one statistician quote the fact that you would be better, you, you could get hit by a bolt of lightning quicker than voter fraud would occur in the state of North Carolina. So this is a, a very um, unnecessary bill. It has some other provisions in it, but the, the biggest, most, most, uh, most disturbing piece is the fact that they want uh, citizens to uh, show, vote, show IDs before they cast their votes. I believe that this uh, bill is targeted to, uh, uh, to dis disenfranchise four subgroups of people in the voting electorate. I believe that it's geared toward African Americans, it's geared toward young voters, it's also geared toward suppressing the votes of our emerging uh, voters, the, uh, our, uh, our, our legal uh, immigrants who have come here, uh, been citizens of this country and have more traditionally vote along different lines than, than the majority party is in. And also that it's an, it's an attack on seniors because seniors have other voting issues as far as getting out long lines. And this is just another, po another problem that will escalate and suppress uh, voter suppression for those groups. So, so this, this bill is, is unnecessary. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not meant in the spirit that, that the title gives it, and uh, we need to do whatever we can as, as, as citizens of this, of this state to, to fight this bill. It's projected that this bill will cost, to implement this bill will cost anywhere between 600000 on the low end to 10 or $20 million on the high end of the spectrum. So once again, this bill is even absolutely unnecessary. And it, all, and it also adds more expense in, in the way that we do business in the state as, as, far as, as far as trying to get everyone up and compliant with an ID. Well, I would just like to say that um, I, am, I am pleased and, and overwhelmed by the uh, response here today with all the partners, uh, Democracy North Carolina, uh, NAACP, uh, and others. And um, I would encourage this ongoing activism within our within our our uh, within our state to 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 call in to call into question these these oppressive uh, policies that are that are attack against against citizens everyday citizens of this state. I like to just keep this going, and uh, I thank the, I thank all of you for being here.